Hello. Today we'll learn a thing or two about the petroleum based quenching oils. Quench oil serves two primary functions. One, it facilitates hardening of steel by controlling the heat transfer during quenching. Two, it enhances the wetting of steel during quenching to minimize the formation of undesirable thermal and transformational gradients, which may eventually lead to increased distortion and cracking. There are in all three stages in the quenching operation, as shown here in the graph. One, the vapor blanket stage, two, the nucleate boiling stage, and three, the convection stage. When using quench oil to cool hot metal, a vapor blanket is placed around the hot metal when it is first immersed into the oil. The stability of the vapor layer and thus the ability of the oil to harden steel is dependent on the following factors. Metals surface irregularities, oxides present, surface wetting additives which accelerate the wetting process and destabilize the vapor blanket and the quench oil's molecular composition including the presence of more volatile oil degradation byproducts. Upon further cooling, the vapor blanket collapses resulting in nucleate boiling which is the fastest heat transfer region. The point at which this transition occurs and the rate of heat transfer in this region depend on the oil's overall molecular composition. When the temperature of the hot oil steel interface is less than the oil's boiling point, nucleate boiling will cease and convective cooling will begin. Heat transfer in this region is exponentially dependent on the oil's viscosity which will vary with the degree of oil decomposition. Increasing oil decomposition will result initially in a reduction of oil viscosity followed by increasing viscosity as the degradation process increases. Heat transfer rates increase with lower viscosities and decrease with increasing viscosity. Oil degradation is often accompanied by sludge and varnish formation. These byproducts typically do not adsorb uniformly on the steel's surface as it's being quenched, resulting in surface cooling rate variations and increased thermal gradients. Another source of non-uniform heat transfer is quench oil contamination. For example, water may be introduced into the quench oil through a leak in the heat exchanger. Water, because of its non-compatibility with oil and having different physical properties such as viscosity and boiling point, will result in increased thermal gradients. To assure optimal quench process control, it is necessary to monitor quality variations throughout the oil's lifetime. This can be accomplished with quench bath maintenance procedure. Quench oil characterization is necessary to ensure optimal quench process control. Quench oil characterization is readily performed by measuring a series of physical properties including viscosity, water content, neutralization number, precipitation number and flash point. In addition to physical property characterization procedures, cooling curve analysis should also be performed when needed. There are numerous specific physical property characterization procedures that may be used when evaluating the quench oils. Viscosity As previously discussed, a quench oil's quenching performance is heavily dependent on its viscosity. There is a strong relation among viscosity, flow velocity, quenching rate and hardness of the steel. In the quenching bath, viscosity determines the flow velocity which in turn determines the rate of quenching and therefore the hardness of the steel. Due to degradation, oil viscosity changes with time. For process monitoring and troubleshooting, the heat treater should develop an historical record and viscosity should be monitored periodically at 40 degrees centigrade using ASTM D445 methods. Water content Water from oil contamination or degradation may cause soft spots, uneven hardness, staining and worst of all, fires. When water contaminated oil is heated, a crackling sound may be heard. This is the basis of a qualitative field test for water in quench oil. The most common laboratory tests for water contamination are either Carl Fischer analysis or distillation methods. 
Flash point is a temperature at which the oil in equilibrium with its vapor produces a gas that is ignitable but doesn't continue to burn when exposed to a spark or flame source. There are two types of flash point test procedures. The closed cup as per ASTM D93 or the Cleveland open cup procedure described in ASTM D92. The minimum flash point of an oil under normal operating conditions should be 90 degrees centigrade above the oil temperature being used. Neutralization number, also called the acid number. This speaks about the oxidation. Higher the neutralization number, higher the oxidation. As oil degrades, it forms acidic byproducts. Chemical analysis can identify and measure these byproducts. The acid number is the most common method employed and is determined by a titration procedure using potassium hydroxide and is reported as milligrams of KOH per gram of sample. Sludge formation. One of the greatest problems with quench oils is sludge formation. Although the various analysis above may indicate that a quench oil is usable, the presence of sludge may cause non-uniform heat transfer, increased thermal gradients and increased cracking and distortion. Sludge may also plug filters and foul heat exchanger surfaces. The loss of heat exchanger efficiency can cause overheating, excessive foaming and fires. Sludge is caused by quench oils, thermal and oxidative degradation. The oxidation reactions lead to polymerized and cross-linked molecules which are insoluble in the oil. The relative amount of sludge in quench oil may be quantified by the precipitation number as defined in ASTM D91. HPCL caters to the ever-increasing demand of the market through its range of quenching oils marketed under the brand name MetaQuench. Keeping pace with the industrial requirements, HPCL's quenching oils have created a niche for itself. These are specially formulated oils from highly refined petroleum-based stocks fortified with chemical additives and fatty oils. MetaQuench oils have exceptional thermal stability, wetting characteristics, chemical and oxidation stability, high boiling points and low volatility, high flash and fire points. Many variants in MetaQuench oils like MetaQuench 39, 42, 43, 44, 45 and 85, 86, 87 each serving a particular application. MetaQuench 42 and 43 possess good dispersion properties with excellent heat transfer characteristics. The special additive incorporated controls soiling of the metal parts during quenching by preventing dirt from accumulating on the metal thus ensuring uniform hardness and minimum quench distortions. These meet IS2664 additive type quench oils. MetaQuench 44 and 45 have faster cooling rates apart from possessing good dispersion properties with excellent heat transfer characteristics. MetaQuench 85, 86 and 87 are mark quenching oils suitable for maintaining the quenching bath at temperatures between 150 to 220 degrees centigrade. These are recommended for mass production of high precision, high quality products such as bearing races, automotive gears, transmission components, etc. MetaQuench 87 is made out of new generation base stocks with optimized viscosity characteristics and gives lower deposits, extremely low sludge carrier and carryover. These oils meet IS4543 specifications. My name is Mr. Ramesh Virat. I am the proprietor of Ravi Metal Treatment. We are giving heat treatment service to all India and abroad. We are providing heat treatment service to Bajaj Auto, Tata Motors, Ashok Leyland, Aisar Motor, Maruti Motor in India and also service providing service to about like a party like SK Germany, Barden Group, Lombardi, Clark, Minor, etc. We are providing heat treatment service like gas carbonizing, carbon nitriding, hardening, normalizing, stress relieving, stress relieving in 
various type of formats the most important factor is the quality and cons- consistency of the quench used we have been using hp tier quench oil meta quench 43 and 44 for more than 10 years and we found it extremely satisfying and the oil has been performing very well in adverse condition too since HPCL source of his oil is from his own indigenous refinery at Bombay. We found our part having very low fan distortion and required hardness, thereby drastically cutting down the reject because of its consistency. Another advantage we found is that a meta quench oil gives very low deposit and slug carry over besides having optimum cooling rate meta quen oil are able to retain their property even after extensive use with very good dispersion properties true to it is name meta quen is a top notch brand maintaining it is superiority in all aspect of application